Hello guys and welcome to Five Star Bait's annual social match. We're down at the massively famous Linear Fisheries where we've been lucky enough to get a lake exclusive on Hardwick and Smith's just behind me. So basically over the next couple of days I'm going to be cutting about the lads, seeing what hints and tips they've got for us and seeing how best these guys use the products available at Five Star to catch these sort after carp we all dearly want to see in the back of our nets. Let's get to it, let's go and see what we can find out. Steve mate, so Hello. welcome to Arbix. Yeah. So you're quite new to the venue, aren't you? Uh, yeah. yeah. You've fished yeah. a few, you haven't fished this swim before though, have you? No, never, never. Would you mind telling us your processes, what you've done out there to find out where you're fishing, what features you found, how you've gone about doing it? Uh, yeah, so really, I see a cut of fish show, so I've just put a, a bare lead out, and I'm just feeling for a rough depth. So it's very, it's not very uniform in the bottom, it's, it's like an egg box. So the shallower bars, right. and then it'll drop to, I think I've got about 25 foot in places. So I've just put a lead on, felt for a, a shallower depth, and then once I've found that, I put it in the clip, check the left and right, and then that is where I'm gonna be fishing my three rods. Right, so effectively you're going for the peaks of these bars then? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, it's, it's clear, it's shallower. I don't particularly wanna be fishing in 25 foot of water. Right, because um, obviously the, the pressure's high. We've just come off that storm. Haven't yeah, we? and also oh. what I've sort of researched on the lake is they seem to come off the the bars and the plateaus. Right, so you've done well. your research. Yeah, yeah. Before I, was, the match. I sat at work the weekend, sort of YouTube and everything. <laughs> nice. That's what I could get. So you're baiting the process, mate. You've come down. Uh, obviously, you found your, 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 your kind of shallow spots with your lead and stuff like that. What's yeah. going to be? Because this is the start of the session. What's going to be your approach? How are you going to go about? Yeah, you've seen a few fish in here. How are you going to yeah. go about targeting these fish and getting them in the net? Uh, so I've got a fairly simple mix. I've got um, 12 and 15 mil fish mix. Fish mix. I've got some crumb, so I've crumbed up in the old crusher. And then a tin of corn. And then in that, grain, can't go wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, some uh, marine amino liquids. Yeah. And then just mix it up. Doused it in water make it a little bit heavier and then leave yeah. it to soak for a couple yeah, of hours. Yeah, obviously you're like fishing that. quite deep. It's still deep on the on the shallow spot, so do you want to... Yeah, it's to about 12 foot, I'd guess. Around 12 foot or so. Um, I don't really use markers anymore. Or So will you fire these, your singles out and then bait, put a few spawns out, or will you, are you one of the guys who comes down, put a bucket in, sit here and wait? No, and so um, what I'm probably going to do is put... 15 or so spots out and then leave it no rigs in the water for a little while okay so you just keep rest, that yeah. area line i mean it's quite busy there's quite a lot of us come down yeah so i'd rather that there's no lines in that area for a little while right hopefully so they'll come in and be a bit more confident and a little bit safer yeah and then later i can just ping the three rods out three casts and then i'm good to go so you're gonna have three rods on, on the spot. yeah 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 so hopefully within a rod length of each other um one two three all lined up different hook baits on each one yeah and then hopefully <laughs> something and then Bring see stuff. what starts to work um but yeah the weather's not great so i don't want to go mad and so will a high pressure affect your fishing are you going to be looking at going on zigs stuff like that uh, i may i may up? put a, an adjustable out later I, i'll just see what the fish do and then try and nip on during the day type yeah thing, just it? just work off what you see really so you mentioned about your hook baits. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what hook baits you know? Are you matching the hatch? Are you putting a high vis on? What, what are you doing to get these? Yeah, so I've got um, two on yellow. Two will go on yellow. So I've got some little 10 mil yellow pop-ups. Are they the deception ones? Yes. Right. Um, and I'll put two of those on a Ronnie. Nice. And just balance that out so it'll sink nicely. Just for a different shape, just so it's not yeah. just a round boilie. Um, I've got 15 mil yellow as well, so an yeah. aniseed. Pineapple and it's a little bit bigger, yeah, yeah. And then I will. I've got some 15 mil 
fish mix pop up, I'll trim them down into a barrel shape and just fish that as well. So I've got one that match the hatch and then two yeah. slight variations of different colour. So could, what? So you've got your swim, uh, you, that, you've got your approach, you're going to be spumming over the top of 15 and then you're going to be fishing kind of a bait situation. So hopefully you're going to get a fish. After the first fish, how do you go about then topping up your swim? Do you then add a certain amount of spawns over the top? How do you go about yeah, topping up? Yeah, I'll do up? three to five depending on how many, if I'm seeing fish over the bay, yeah. I'd be more inclined to put a little bit more out. If I think it's just a bite out of the blue, I'll put a little bit less. So really it's, I'd, I'd base that on activity. Right, yeah. If yeah. Like, or if, not all spawns go exactly where you want them. So if you get one or two sort of wayward ones, yeah. then more go out. So I want it bang on where the, the roots are gonna be. Accuracy is key. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, fair play. Well, nice one. Well, hopefully we're going to be back down later and we're going to be watching you land the fish. I hope so. get that on the camera. <laughs> I hope so. This swim's called the hot spots. There's a bit of pressure there. Is this the hot spots, yeah, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. have you got your bait out so far? Have you got, have you got your bait out? No, nothing yet. Um, I flick, literally flicked an adjustable out just while I'm getting sorted. Nice. Um, and then I'll get that in. Get so, the, get the bait out first and then leave it. So I'm going to get a little bait. 15 spots out in a minute. Leave it, um, go for a walk, yeah. then get to top up water and stuff like that. I forgot to do it before I came. Well, do you know what? Even though it's a social, right, we know everyone's still competing against you there. So, what we're going to do, we're going to step back and we're going to watch you in the next spawn, Rob. Is that all right? Perfect. Right. Cool. Cheers, Steve Lat, and catch Cheers, you later. Guys. Nine. Well done, mate.
Right, deep hole Berkeley. So, thank you for your time, yeah? We know, welcome, Jake. We know you've just got time, we know you've just set up, and we know you've just seen fish. So, we won't take too much of your time up, but we just want to know your thought processes and how you're going to attack your, the swim that you've been allocated today. When I first arrived, just before dark, there was, as darkness had come upon us, there was a couple of fish shown. It's a tight corner, didn't want to spook them, so I baited very lightly with uh, a baiting hook. Just get a few baits out of there, nice and quietly, drop the rigs in, didn't want to spook them out of the corner. And uh, yeah, set back and uh, was waiting for a bite. Right, so you're keeping it quite stealthy then, obviously yeah. you're in a swim, isn't this like the summer bay? Yeah, it's not maybe a good time to be in this yeah. in, in this spot, but as I say, there was a few fish there, so I didn't want to spook them out. I went softly, softly approach to start with. Right, so when you're saying you're using your baiting spoon, um, what baits are you putting in that spoon, and, and, and why have you gone for the baits that you have at this time of year? I wanted a bit of smell, but not too much food, because there would only be a few fish out there. So I, a lot of crushed, boily the fish mix which I have loads of faith in so good half about a half a kilo but crushed so it's a lot of powder not a not a lot of food salts but loads of smell to attract the fish in right so being kind of the expert match angler on the team is there any specific thing that you'll be doing in the bay to keep them fish there if you do manage to nick a bite as opposed to having the bite and then, and then and then losing the fish out the base. Anything you're going to be doing to keep the fish where they are? Put some of the um, the, the glug that uh, goes with goes with the bait. Put that in so that will start soaking into the silt. So if any fish are about and they do hoover up the free offerings, the glug will start getting into the silt, which will keep bringing them back. So yeah, I added that as a as a backup just to try and keep any fish that were in the area to stay there and come back for another another hopefully munch. Right, so that's quite interesting that you've mentioned the silt because this, this bay is predominantly quite weedy so I'm guessing you've had a leather belt. How have you gone and found the silt amongst these weed beds? There was there was weed at a certain amount of range and just inside that there was a there was a hard spot and um, pulled the lead gently and it just come into a softer area, a little bit of grip so then I put another lead out to find out what was there, pulled that back, they come back um, more or less weed free but in a softer area. So with the, the other lead that you put on I'm guessing you, it, it's kind of pulled a bit of a sample off the spot that you're it fishing did. as well so, you, so you've, 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 you've clearly identified that yes. as silt. Yeah. Right, that's, that's quite cool. So. Is it a small spot then that you're going to be working in? On it, yeah, it's a very tight spot. Um, so I, I used the, the bait pole for that reason, just to try and capitalise on that small area. So, also in the baiting spoon, can you tell us a little bit about what rigs you're going to be using? What baits you're going to be putting on the rigs and why? I have great um, confidence in the, in, in the snowman rig. I think that. that fish find it hard to deal with that, that balanced extra little bit of weight with a bottom bait I think it's, it's a rig I use so a good 95% of the time it's caught me loads of fish over the years and um, it, it's balanced so hopefully it will get sucked in uh, relatively easy and then it has the potential to to at the same time that's the bottom lid. So with the, the snowman rig itself, I can see you've got a fish mix boil on. Is that straight out of the bag or is this, what is this, match the hatch? What, what type it, of this is um, this is a hardened bait. Uh, there is a coop problem out there and I didn't want to keep casting. I wanted that rig to stay out there for 24 hours, if not longer. Um, so that is a hardened hooker from the five star. And uh, yeah, and, and uh, my favourite pink 
top out of that same. It's called me loads, loads of fish. And that's the deception pop up. This one as well, isn't it? It is. Right, brilliant. Right, well, being as you're our expert match angler, I'm pretty sure we're going to be back in your swim later on. Hopefully, Hopefully. with some fish on the bank. So, we'll leave it in peace and we'll let you do what you do best. Cheers, sir. Don't worry, thank you for your time. You're welcome. So, join me on Harbrook and Smith's for our five star social. So, uh, it's not been so much of a bad day today. We've been down here since yesterday. Um, so, everybody's uh, managed to get their swims, letting them around and stuff. So, it's been a bit slow yesterday. Uh, but it's picked up today. Uh, I've managed to get three today and lost one due uh, to a good pull. Uh, it's been going pretty well, so my, my first one was half seven this morning. And that was a, uh, a strange looking fish, shall we uh, politely put it, a bit of a franken fish, uh, which I'm sure we'll probably see shortly. Um, after that one, uh, basically just retops back up the, uh, the swim, a few more spot falls, uh, about another ten spots. Um, just basically hope that I can sort of try and keep them there. Um, put the rods back out. On this uh, particular swim I'm in peg 12, so I'm fishing uh, about 14 and a half wraps. Also a bit of a gravel area which sort of has like a general sort of slight incline. It's, it's, not, it's not steep, it's very sort of, you know, slopes away quite nicely. Um, going from 14 all the way down to about 23 foot. So it's nice and gradual, so I'm just on the 14 foot, I'm just literally probably at the top, very top of the bar just as it starts to drop. Um, so I've kept up sort of topping sort of bait on up the whole time that I've been here. Um, so I'm just trying to work the swim the best I can, so I'm 10 spot falls. Um, when I feel like I need to sort of add those in, if I feel like I, I should have done a bite. Um, then I'll generally just add a few more spot falls in um, and hopefully that can try some kickstart bite uh, which lucky enough um, paid off uh, later on this afternoon um, I've got an absolutely sort of belting run on one of the rods uh, I think it was my far left hand rod actually um, struck into it for like a really really decent fish Played all the way through, even said to the guys that if you if, if you see it, just don't tell me, because I'm sure my legs will probably start wobbling away. Uh, as like I say, it does did really did feel like a decent fish. That net. Get in there! Nice. Well in, man. Come on! Managed to get that one in, landed that, and uh, absolutely blown away. Um, Got it up on the scales. Uh, a new personal best myself. Uh, Thirty-five pound on the nose. Um, absolutely stunning fish. Um, scale pound on it was just immense. Just love those really dark, sort of goldeny, wintry colours. You know, I mean, with scale pound, it just oh, yeah, amazing. Blown away. Um, so an absolute, you know, epic session for me so far. Here's a small one. 
Ah, wie Thijs, hé, hey. hey, wie Thijs. Oh, man, Thijs. So stoked, man. Yeah, sick, mate. Absolutely buzzing. Big up, five star, man, big up. The bait I've been using on that one uh, has been the fish mix. Um, and I've been using Deception 12 mil pop-ups uh, over the top. Yeah. Excuse me, dropping off camera. So, some 12 mil deception pop-ups. I don't know if you can see those. These ones are actually in 15 mil, but I've actually got some 12s down there. So, fantastic pop-ups. The great thing about our deception range um, is that obviously you can choose whatever colour you uh, would like and then obviously you can choose your own flavourings to go with that so if you wanted you know, plum and, and almonds you can get that done for you it's not a problem um, like I say you can choose your own flavours uh, and so on that you want with each one of your uh, pop-ups so that's part of our deception range there um, the bait like I say I've been using on this session has been the fish mix uh, I've been using it 15 and 12 with been using it on uh, quite a few sessions. Normally, summertime, I sort of do the 15s and 18 mils. Um, sort of coming into winter, I'll do the 15 and 12s. Um, if it starts getting these really sort of coldish weather, then I'll probably just stick with the 12s. Um, and then my mix on this session uh, has literally just been really, really simple. Just 15 and 12 mil fish mix with uh, plenty of hemp, quite a lot of corn in the mix. Um, I get as we're at Ninia. Uh, so, generally go to is having a lot of corn in your mix from what I hear from a lot of people um, and then something slightly different I've been using in my mix for, for quite a while uh, it's just a couple of tins of tuna um, some for oil probably in the summer um, I've been using it in the brine just because I feel like it's just got that bit more of a saltier taste to it um, so literally all, all I've done is anywhere between two to four tins depending on sort of how I feel and how much of a mix I make um, and just really make sure you sort of flake that up in your hands, get real nice and fluffy. Um, and then we've got some of our Fire Star um, bait dip, um, just basically blasted some of that over the top, um, and that just basically helps some of that tuna to sort of stick to the boilies and stuff like that when it kind of goes in. So you just get that nice lingering uh, wash as you kind of go down. So, but uh, yeah, happy days. It's, it's just been a good session, like so. We're just coming into the evening now. Uh, we've only got till tomorrow, so I'm hopeful we can nick a few more. Um, before I do forget, though, uh, I, I had had a f I've had a third one as well. Um, I had another fish. Um, that one was at a bit more close range, so not not the spot of four and a half wraps. This was probably ten wraps, ten twelve wraps to be left. Uh, probably a bit shorter than that actually. Um, I've seen quite a few fish sort of in close showing during the day quite a lot of feeding as well, so a lot of feeding bubbles and showing fish above those sort of feeding bubbles so I decided to uh, drop on in short to try and see if I can uh, just nick an extra bite. Once the two rods were rocking the main spot, um, I did drop out of a single at first, I sort of gave that about 15-20 minutes, I didn't really sort of feel confident, I felt like I needed something something there so I uh, basically rolled back in and basically did it. A uh, little stick mix, just a fish mix, just basically crumbed up um, with a nice little stick. Uh, just stuck that on out there as well, so it just literally dropped down. Comes towards to see uh, the evening, I started to get a bit dubious whether it was actually going to go or not because it was quite a bit of deep water just to the left of me. How deep I'm actually too sure. Um, and uh, yeah, Rob, Rob went uh, screaming off and uh, 29 pound 12, happy days. Well done.